Hi. It's me, Toshi. So, uh, this channel and myself, past, present, future. Um, I've spent many years punishing myself, uh, self-harming, um, indulging in self-destructive behavior for a, a, a reason. I used to be a very bigoted person, a very hateful person, f full of anger, full of um, toxic... <laughs> I was a, I was a toxic male, to to toxic toxic masculinity. <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to be yeah. Um, I used to I supported the alt right, and ironically, I was I was alt right. I, I was I was in the alt right. Um, I used to say and do nasty things. Um. Six years ago, those "you will never be a woman" messages. That was that would that, that, that would be me. That was me. That was me. And this is the last time I am going to apologize for my past. I've made some amazing new friends recently, and I think five years of punishment is enough. I, I think it's time for me to move on and recognize that I'm not the same person um, I deliberately made myself that's why I mean I completely broke myself I've been becoming increasingly isolated to the point that I didn't talk to anybody at all just me um, stuck in my game room playing games alone I've got uh, one in real life friend um, but we didn't talk for a long, long time. And one old friend who's sort of abandoned me lately after <laughs> certain revelations about my identity. So um, I'm just going to ask you for your forgiveness for my past. Um, I was a complete bastard. I mean, I really was. I was manipulative. I was self-entitled, I was egotistical, I was abusive. If Beth or Holly ever sees this, I need to apologize, especially to them. Uh, one was my fiance, who had the displeasure of living with me. Uh, the other was my girlfriend, who I didn't treat perhaps as best as I should have done. The, the original plan was never to be in a relationship again because I felt I, I felt that I didn't deserve one um, so my most recent relationship broke down uh, Katie if you watch this I'm sorry but I don't think we're going to work out I sort of chosen my path now so, that's my past out of the way. I was a complete and utter hateful, bigoted bastard. And I'm sorry. And that'll be the last time I ever speak of it, unless it, uh, unless you want to know anything specific. If you have any questions, then of course, I'm always happy to answer. Present, how did I get like this? Um, well, there's one more apology I do need. I, I do need to say. When I tried to rejoin the world and make new friends, I met a couple, Senti and Marshy in particular, who are trans. And they were good people. I enjoyed joking with them. Senti especially. I, love, I loved our banter. Um... The way I introduced, introduced myself to her was completely insane, but I was off my rocker on methamphetamines at the time, um, which I'm quitting, by the way. Um, I'm off the meth. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, I thought, how further down could I force old McTosh? Uh, 
how much more could I kick him into the gutter because I really just wanted to destroy myself, you know, I just wanted to just, oh, just, um, I didn't want to be him anymore, I didn't want to be him, so I thought, I know, why don't I turn him trans, so that's exactly what I did, I gave, I, um, I sort of self-parodied, I made an e-persona that was like the opposite of everything he was, um, I, I was sort of was becoming everything that would horrify him, you know, right? But sometime along, uh, some, along the line, it became quite... <laughs> oh god, Poe's Law. It became unironic. And I actually started... The E-Persona started feeling more real than the real me. And these great friends that I was making, I stopped and I thought, hang on. This isn't right. Um, I'm forcing myself down this path as a form of self-harm, like it's a bad thing, like it's some kind of punishment. So, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, being trans isn't a bad thing. I don't see it as a punishment. And that's why I've decided to let the past go. I ironically feel good. I feel happier than I have in a long time. My mood's improved and I think it's time to stop sabotaging myself. It's time to stop the drugs. It's time to stop the self-harm. Um, I haven't had a suicidal thought since Christmas. So to any trans people watching this, I hope You'll accept my apology that I originally thought becoming trans was like a punishment or something to be ashamed of. Um, I'm happy. I, I still don't think I'm trans. I don't think I am. Um, because the way I did it, it was... I sort of forced it on myself and memed myself into it. Um, I've never had gender dysphoria. I used to be just, uh, just a typical, typical guy. I mean, I was quite a toxic guy, but a guy nonetheless. Um, but I th I, I've accepted. I've, ac I've accepted it. And I'm, I've decided to embrace it because of how happy I am. And this is fun. Um, <laughs> Oh dear. First things first, I need to work on my voice. Because <laughs> this, this, uh, this, this voice isn't good. Okay. I need to, I need to voice train and I'll try. Um, channel's future. Moving on from all that. It's going to carry on as it always has. I'm going to keep uploading videos. Um, I definitely need to uh, jump back onto Gunfire Reborn. Um, but what I need to do, I accidentally played a multiplayer game. Uh, I played with a friend in multiplayer and I, I realized then that uh, my elite run will be um, plus one game. So I'll have um, weapons and scrolls unlocked that I shouldn't have. So what I need to do is make a new save file, beat the game again uh, within five turns, five games, sorry. And then, as long as, and then um, do an elite run. That's the sixth game on that save file. The elite run needs to, needs to be the sixth game for it to be the same uh, road to R eight, for it to be fair. So I'll do that this week at some point. <laughs> that's assuming I can beat normal again within five games. But I'll try my hardest. Um, I need to get back into DRG, definitely. But um, one of my old friends that I played DRG with sort of abandoned me. Um, but uh, I can play solo. I can play solo. Or make new friends. Or make new friends. If you want to be my friend, add me. Um, I'll be doing LSPDFR 
on my other channel. I'll be continuing with that. You'll see on Toshi Ascended. If you like police roleplay, uh, go check that channel out, definitely. And I'll be doing live streams. It won't be yet. It'll be maybe in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, a month, maybe. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do it first. This is all new to me. And I need to figure out um, all the uh, technical things. Uh, this software is very basic. I still need to try out other software, maybe some paid versions because the free versions I'm uh, I'm having I'm struggling with them. Um, the first stream though I'll be doing will just be a meet Toshi, ask me anything, and we'll just sit and chat, and you can ask me anything. And yeah, but if you have any sh better stream ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you think of my model. <laughs> Is she cute or what? Yes. I'll see you soon. Bye.